Hey, seventh grade artists, this is where we started from, right? This is our horizontal horizon line. This is inserting a little dot shape, and that's our vanishing point. From here, you are going to need to add shapes. Now, I said six shapes, which is two above the horizon line, two below the horizon line, and two sitting right on the horizon line. For right now, I'm going to show you two of them. So here you go. I'm inserting a shape. And for the sake of time, here is a rectangle. All right. And I'm inserting another shape. And here is a triangle. All right. And you can even move that triangle to make it a little bit different. I'm going to keep it just about there. Okay. So I have two shapes. From here, I'm going to view, zoom in 100%. Now I have a closer view. I need to make, I need to use the line tool to make the corners of my rectangle drag a line to that vanishing point so we can make them look three dimensional, three dimensional. So let's go and do that right about now. Okay. So I'm using my line tool. Click on the line, you get a plus sign. Now that line needs to drag right to the vanishing point. Go back up to the line tool. You need to get that plus sign. That line needs to be directed right to that vanishing point. Same thing, one more line is gonna go to the vanishing point. I'm gonna add a line, get that plus sign, and I'm gonna have to drag that line to the vanishing point. I do not want to include this point in the vanishing point I don't want to add a line that goes through the front shape right here. Do not want that. So now it's starting to look very three-dimensional. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to see this triangle is going to need the same thing. I'm going to use that line tool. Make sure I get a plus sign. I'm going to click that line's going the wrong way. I have to drag that line up to that vanishing point. I need to add a line. Get that plus sign. Click on those points. I need to turn that around and drag it to the vanishing point. I do not need to make a line go diagonal to the vanishing point over here because it's pointing away from the vanishing point. Now, we need to box in these shapes to make them look three-dimensional. Same tool, line, get the plus sign. Depends on how fat and thick you want these shapes or how skinny is where you are going to start to, to put that point. Let's click right here. Now, I don't wanna make it a triangle. I don't wanna make it diagonal. I want it straight a vertical line, okay? And I want it to go a little, a little bit of a diagonal because my, sh my shape actually is turned to the side. So I have to create that box that sort of turns to the side. Okay, now I'm using this line tool again, and I'm going to want to create this to make it look three-dimensional. There you go. So now my box looks three-dimensional. If my line went down here, that doesn't look very three-dimensional. So I want to make sure that my line goes straight across to make that look more like a box. Same thing here. I'm going to add a line. And I'm going to make a nice, thick-looking triangular prism. I don't want to drag this line out here, and I don't want to move that line in there. I want to make it to make it almost look like a little tent if you're doing a triangle like that. Okay? So stay tuned for the next video where we're going to color in these sides and the front. And then we delete these lines so you have a floating box. That's video number two.